What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today is the last day of 2021 and I wanted to bring you something special. It's been 3 years already when we had the last power function set released, the RC Stunt Racer, and the first two so-called Control Plus sets were released, the 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader and the Leaper. These already have powered up motors and hubs instead of the power functions electronics and they require a smart device for control. Fast forward to 2021 and we now have 7 different Technic sets with the Control Plus label. According to the news we soon have to say goodbye to the first wave as they will retire, so it's time to compare all of them in this video. First I will share the basic information about each model, then you will see a speed comparison, then a test with different obstacles and finally the climbing test on a ramp. Each model is in its stock form with no change of gearing and all of them will be controlled by the Control Plus app. If you want to see them with some changes, upgrades and different controls, then check out my previous videos and of course I have detailed building reviews as well about all of them. Unfortunately you won't see them all running at once as it would require not less than 48 batteries, but I have 24 fully charged ones from IKEA and that was also quite a challenge to collect, especially around Christmas when the kids steal all my batteries for the new toys. Now let's get started.
So that was the test, hopefully I managed to give you a good demonstration about the abilities of these sets. There were a few surprises, like the Volvo being faster than the Zetros, the impressive climbing abilities of the cat, or the less than spectacular climbing performance of the 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader. I still don't understand the concept of the stock gearing in this one considering the name, but at least it is very easy to fix. As I mentioned, these three are expected to retire very soon. In some countries, lego.com already shows them as retired, so if any of these is missing from your collection, then it's time to look for a good deal, as the prices will significantly increase on the secondary market soon. This was my last video of 2021. I hope you enjoyed the content this year. Stay tuned for a lot more exciting stuff in 2022, including the construction of my new lego room, new builds, and of course, brand new reviews, starting with these here. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I strongly suggest to subscribe with notifications, as we won't stop in 2022, and you really don't want to miss those videos. Happy New Year, stay safe, and see you soon in the new year. Bye-bye.